Hello and welcome to the second video of the EA file series. In this episode, we'll cover another significant aircraft in aviation history. It is the Airbus E-Fan. The E-Fan was one of the first electric aircraft by a major aircraft manufacturer and was also one of the first aircraft that was built from ground up to be electric rather than being based on existing fuel-powered airframes. Its first test flight was conducted way back in 2014. It made headlines in 2015 when it crossed the English Channel, which was dubbed as a milestone in electric aviation history, although this feat had been achieved before. The interest in the aircraft led Airbus to announce the E-Fan 2, a two-seat trainer with a side-by-side -side cockpit, and also the E-Fan 4, a hybrid electric four-seat variant. Let's focus now on the design of the aircraft. The E-Fan is an all-electric twin-motor low-wing monoplane of composite material. It has a T-tail and a retractable tandem landing gear with outrigger wheels. It has a wingspan of 9.5 meters, wing area of around 12 square meter, and a length of 6.7 meter. For propulsion, there are two ducted variable pitch fans which are powered by two motors rated at 32 kilowatt each. There's also a 6 kilowatt motorized wheel that allows more energy efficient taxiing and takeoff. The wheel motor is capable of accelerating the aircraft to speeds of 60 kilometers per hour. The aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight of 600 kilograms. As for the battery pack, the E-Fan uses lithium polymer cells by South Korean manufacturer Kokum. The pack has a total capacity of 29 kilowatt hours. The weight of the whole pack is 167 kg, giving it a respectable pack level energy density of 174 watt hour per kilogram. The batteries are located on the inboard sections of the wing. On the spec sheet, the E-Fan has a flight time of 1 hour. Maximum endurance flight of 52 minutes was recorded. The empty weight of the E-Fan is 500 kg. Compared to the Pipistrel Alpha Electro, it is a heavier aircraft owing to bulkier airframe, landing gear, and battery pack. This gives the E-Fan payload capacity of 100 kg, which is 80 kg less compared to the Alpha Electro. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 220 km per hour and a cruise speed of 160 km per hour. The design ingenuity of the E-Fan is evident from its use of efficient ducted fans. The motorized wheel is another feature that is unique. Furthermore, the landing gear is integrated into the fuselage for low drag and the energy management and safety features were designed to be driven by electrical propulsion. There is a backup battery for emergency landing and like the Pipistrel Alpha Electro, the E-Fan could also be charged for a very low cost that is about $5. It is unfortunate that Airbus decided to halt the production and development of E-Fan and its variants, the E-Fan 2 and the E-Fan 4 in 2017 to concentrate on the larger aircraft, the E-Fan X. And as the aviation industry's fortune took a hit during the COVID-19 pandemic, the work on E-Fan X was also stopped on May 2020. If Airbus decides to revisit the E-Fan, it will certainly have much better batteries to work with. In 2014-2015, the batteries used by E-Fan had an energy density of 207 watt hour per kilogram. At present, 300 watt hour per kilogram batteries are available. A simple replacement of the newer batteries in the pack would raise the capacity to at least 35 kilowatt hour, meaning higher payload or longer flight duration. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you do not want to miss out on upcoming videos in the series. Thank you for your attention.